a school that teaches real legitimate Tai Chi. How do you find it? What's up y'all, Prince here, Golden Bell Training. This is another edition of Ask P. I'm taking a question from my main man, Black Omega, and he wants to know, how do you find a legitimate Tai Chi school? So I've, uh, I, I've, I've struggled with this question for a while. I've had a number of people write to me asking me about uh, studying Tai Chi. How do you know if you're in a real Tai Chi school? And the, the thing is like, how do you define real? Um, I know you guys have watched a lot of the videos that I've done over the years where I've talked about like my uh, displeasure with the way Tai Chi is being taught, uh, you know, and uh, you got to look at the fact that I've been in the game for, it's been exactly 10 years now. I started Tai Chi uh, 10 years ago when I got out of the Navy and now I, I'm not, I'm not really a Tai Chi person, right? My style is Ely Chin. That's another internal martial art. It's based on the Tai Chi principles and Zen philosophy. So it has some similarities to Tai Chi and the fact that it's based on the Tai Chi principles. Any style of Tai Chi should be based on the Tai Chi principles. I mean, they're the, they're the Tai Chi principles. Now, uh, to get to this question, how do you find a legitimate Tai Chi school? The reason I said that's a difficult question is because it really depends on what you're looking for when you say a real Tai Chi school. Like, it's like asking me, well, how do you buy a car? Well, you know, you could go to an old used car lot that buys uh, cars from the police car auction. You might find something nice. You can go to uh, the, the Toyota dealership, the Kia dealership, Ford, Chevy, whatever dealership in your city. If you're looking for a new car, if you're looking for a luxury car, it really like it comes down to what are you looking for and what's your budget, right? Now you talk about legitimate Tai Chi. The thing about Tai Chi is a lot of people who come to Tai Chi come initially seeking health, right? I'm getting ready to do a video on this topic, but Bruce Lee's first martial art was actually Tai Chi. And I'm planning on doing a video on that uh, very soon. I'm actually going to do an entire series on Bruce Lee, uh, things I'm learning from the new uh, biography, Bruce Lee, A Life, that's 700 pages. Uh, I'm 50 pages in and I've learned all kinds of stuff about Bruce Lee. Dr. Yang Juing Ming, who probably came up around that same time uh, period during uh, World War II and the Jap Japanese occupation. If uh, Dr. Yang is from the mainland, then he probably had to deal with uh, the communists and the, the, the havoc that uh, Mao Zedong, Chairman Mao, uh, reeked on the, the Chinese population prior to and during the Cultural Revolution. If you don't know uh, the history of China, that, that's something to look into and you'll learn a lot about why uh, why Kung Fu is in the sad state that it is, is, is Mao pretty much. Between the Boxer Rebellion and Mao, uh, it, it really messed, set things back. Um, but like I said, most people initially come to Tai Chi seeking health, right? You, and and that's, that's one of the, the distinguishing factors about an internal martial art. You got to develop the inside before you develop the outside. Now, um, when I hear someone coming to me talking about legitimate Tai Chi, I'm assuming that you're looking for Kung Fu. And go back to the, the video where I talked about the fight, the MMA versus Tai Chi fight. Uh, that guy's a fraud. Like I, I, I've uncovered a whole lot of stuff. Um, but uh, you have to, in an internal martial art, you have to develop internal skill. Uh, it's a different kind of force. In that video, I called it Tai Chi energy. The word is really Pung, right? You need Pung. Uh, and the thing is, Pung doesn't even have a meaning uh, in Mandarin Chinese or in, in Cantonese. I don't know what the Cantonese uh, version of the word would be but it doesn't really have a meaning. There's a word, Pong Yo, which means embrace friends, right? But uh, if you go walk up to the average uh, Chinese person and say, my friend Prince keeps talking about this word, Pong, what does it mean? They're gonna look at you like, I don't know, embrace something, it, it, it has no meaning. Um, so we call it Tai Chi energy and people think I'm talking about some Goku, Dragon Ball Z, power levels, Avatar airbender shit. And, and that's not what it means at all. It's a, it's a certain quality that you develop. Uh, your body has a feeling of fullness, right? Um, and if you don't have Tai Chi energy, if you don't have Pong energy, 
Uh, you can't you can't express the Tai Chi principles. You can't do Tai Chi as a martial art. It's not going to work. So if that's what you're looking for and you have zero experience, look, the, the best thing you can do is to go out and just study Tai Chi anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's a YMCA class for for arthritis. Right. And I know well, Prince, you talk bad about the. You got to think about where I am. And I at the time I said things that I probably shouldn't have said. Right. We're because because I'm going to be teaching seniors Tai Chi classes soon. Well, actually, I'm going to be teaching Ely Chin, but they're not going to know the difference. It, it's all Tai Chi to somebody who doesn't know. My point is, is that experience should be your best teacher. Um, if you have no experience, you need to go out and get experience. You need to go out and try the styles. Right. If you if you go and you do uh, the, the always yielding, you go join a, a, a a school that teaches Yang style from uh, from Yang Jun's uh, lineage, right? And they do a lot of yielding, uh, very yin, right? You're always yielding, you're leading, you're lead, you're, you're you're yin, but you're leading, you're leading. Um, my personal opinion is, if you do that kind of tai chi, you might develop some skill, but um, you know, in a fight, somebody's gonna run you over, right? If if until you develop some some real skill, really, until you develop pung. But if you have Pung, you have no real reason to yield other than to mislead them and then to go hard and and, and you know, pull, go into your technique or your application or whatever it is you're looking to accomplish. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced than um, where I'm thinking people initially watching this video need to know or want to go. Right. Um, my point is, is that even with that yielding Tai Chi where I told you there is a flaw, but if you've never done it, then You've got to do it to experience it. You got to you got to do it to know what you're actually looking for is what I'm trying to say. Now, if you just want the quick route, the quickest route to doing uh, the quickest, easiest route to doing legitimate Tai Chi as a martial art, this is all you need to do. Go online, look up, um, look up a descendant, the closest descendant of a uh, disciple, not descendant, the closest disciple to you of Chen Zhao Wang. Right. Study with them and then uh, save your money, book a ticket and go to Chin Giago in China and go study with the Chin family uh, at their the, the entire village is their school. Go to Chin Giago and train. Um, but uh, if when you go there, I'm going to tell you straight up right now, when you get there, if you have no Kung Fu skill, uh, if you're not able to handle the, chi they're going to teach to your level. So if you go thinking I'm getting right off the couch. I'm going to China and I'm going to come back in five years or, or after five weeks and be the God of Kung Fu. Um, you're going to be sadly mistaken. They're going to start you at the beginning, at the basics, and they're only going to teach to your level. Right now, if you're uh, an experienced martial artist, you 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 can pick up uh, Chin style Tai Chi fast uh, and, and you go there and you live under the rough conditions. I think it's a little bit nicer for Westerners than it used to be. Uh, from the old school people I'm hearing from, then hey, have at it. That's the quickest, easiest route if you want Kung Fu skill, uh, martial arts skill uh, as a Tai Chi player. Um, now, I mean, me, I'm happy with Ely Chin. I don't really do Tai Chi. Tai Chi is more my warm up. I know people have been asking about my form. That's the Guang Ping form. Uh, but if you were to go and study my lineage from through Henry Look, unfortunately, he passed two years ago. Um, it's not pure Tai Chi. Uh, first off, the form has Bagua, Xing Yi um, uh, flavors to it or influences. And uh, Henry Look studied uh, uh, Xing Yi and uh, the old style each wine when it still had uh, uh, from um, from both the Han brothers who were uh, kind of the enforcers of the uh, the founder of uh, Da Cheng Chuan or, or each wine. Uh, I don't know how I just forgot his name. Uh, but, you know, look up each one, do some some research. And the guy who founded the style, uh, the Han brothers were uh, who were in Hong Kong. Those were uh, Henry Look's teachers. He brought both of them over to America, studied. Well, I think he went to Hong Kong and trained with the other brother that, that lived longer. And uh, and so uh, if that if that's the route you want to go, I wouldn't really know how to tell you to get developed martial arts skill because um, the Guangping form was a gateway into Xing Yi 
and each one in in Henry looks lineage right and our form looks different from other Guangping people um, so you would uh, have to go to San Francisco find uh, Madame Kuo Simone Kuo or, or, or uh, some other Guangping people and I I wouldn't be able to direct you that way uh, you know and if you're in San Francisco there's so much good kung fu out there that, that you should have your pick of whatever you want um, but anyway those are I hope that helps um, you know uh, tai Chi is it's, it's not an easy thing to navigate if that's what you really want to do just do your research man like don't just listen to me because I'm not I'm not a Tai Chi person I do Ely Chin and it's not it's not all the same right uh, I'd have to get in the, the deeper nuts and bolts you, you, you and you probably want to listen to somebody more advanced than me in Ely Chin because I'm even though I'll be teaching a class I'm not I'm not an instructor level Right. And I'm not very high in the student level either. Um, that's something I hope to rectify with uh, starting next year. Uh, if I find time to train and, and, and make it to uh, and get to my gradings. Uh, but anyway, that's that's really all I got. I hope I didn't throw too much at you, but uh, I love talking this stuff and I'm happy to have this channel and this outlet where I can share that information. Uh, guys, please hit me with more of your questions, martial arts, training. Uh, strength and conditioning, nutrition, uh, mindset. And I know I got another question about uh, mindset from uh, Arturo, the one, I think that's your net, your handle. I'm getting ready to answer that question soon. Uh, sorry that I, it took me a while to get to it, but uh, I had a lot of uh, big life changes, nothing bad, it was all good. Uh, starting, starting back to my new old job where I used to work and uh, getting back on a regular training schedule so that I can start getting these videos and getting more uh, information to you guys about training, martial arts, and uh, strength and conditioning. So uh, be on the lookout, lots, lots to come from this channel on these topics, and uh, that's it. So let me know your thoughts on this and hit me with uh, other questions for future episodes of uh, Ask P. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing and uh, let's get in shape together. Holler.